Welcome back to Be Name Later Reactions. Today we're going to react to a Naruto video. Um, How strong is Shishui by Swaikage? Swaikage is a Naruto like power scaler. He makes videos talking about how strong certain Naruto characters is and what would they do in a fight. He's like a debater kind of. Well, Seth the programmer is really more of a debater, but uh, Swaikage is more of a power scaler, seeing how strong characters are and asking. How strong would he be in this situation? Is he strong enough to beat these other characters? Things like that. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Um, also, leave any video, recommend video recommendations you have in the comments, and I'll take a look at them. Any other Naruto videos you want me to check out, you know, let me know, man. Otherwise, I'm sticking to Swag Kage and Seth the Programmer because that's who I know, and that's who I'm going to watch. So if you want to see me watch something else besides them two, Leave a uh, video recommendation down below. All right, y'all, but let's go ahead and get into this video. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Swag Kage here, and today I'm going to be following up on a promise I made, I don't even know how long ago, honestly, to talk about Shisui in one of these How Strong Is videos. Mm -hmm. This guy is surprisingly pretty popular, despite the fact that he doesn't appear in the series at all outside of flashbacks. And even in those flashbacks, he doesn't do a whole lot, but I do kind of get it. He is really cool in the Storm games, at yeah. least. And whenever one of the characters mentions him, it's usually to talk about how much of a sick, nasty ninja he was. The thing he gets the most hype for, as I'm sure many of you are already aware, is his unique Mangekyo Sharingan power, Koto yep. Matsukami. One thing that's worth noting is that it's very, very, very integral to the story of Naruto. His power, his eye powers, his Mangekyo powers is super important to the story of Naruto. Without it, Itachi wasn't able to do some of the stuff he did. And if Itachi wasn't able to do that, then the whole outcome of the war would have been different. It's very, um, is very impactful to the story. Is his unique Mangekyo Sharingan power, Koto Amatsu Kami. One thing that's worth noting is that as far as we know, Shisui is actually the only character to have the same jutsu in both eyes. The same almost applies to Obito. Wait, is it the same? I thought it was, I thought one eye was different than the other. Hmm. I thought one eye he put on other people and then the other eye he like put on himself. Like it was the same power, but like one eye, he can influence other people to do things. And then his second eye, he can influence himself to do things. That's how I took it. Maybe I'm wrong. But even though both of his Mangekyo abilities have the same name, they do function in distinctly different ways. One is meant to be used at long range, and the other is meant to be used at short range. Shisui's Mangekyo seem to be functionally identical, though it is hard to say for sure since we've only seen each one used once or twice. In any case, Koto Amatsukami is really, really powerful, one of the most powerful genjutsu in the whole series. It doesn't physically damage people like, say, Sukuyomi or Frog Song, but it instead places them under mind control. Shisui can basically get people people to do whatever he wants with this jutsu, mm -hmm. and the crazy thing is he doesn't even have to establish eye contact to do it. What's even more ridiculous is that the target of the jutsu typically isn't aware of what's happening to them, and unless they're told otherwise, will fully believe that they're making these decisions themselves. The big thing about uh, Koto Amatsukami, though, is despite all of these really, really good upsides, Shisui can only use it once every 10 years. Or I guess it would be more accurate to say he can use it twice every 10 years, since he does have two shots. Sharingan, but that still really sucks. Now it. How old is Shishui? Like, <clears throat> how the fuck you find that out? Because first of all, it's a Mangekyo, meaning that you gotta have a Sharingan first, and to get a Sharingan, you gotta go through it, intense pain, um, like emotional pain, of losing a loved one or something, or well, no, the the base Sharingan. Yeah, the base Sharingan, you gotta have a big a big emotional response and usually pain and sorrow um happiness as far as we know happiness has never been strong enough to make a big enough emotional response to activate the sharingan but pain has so you have to go through something traumatic to get a sharingan then you got to go through it like two more times or get older for you to get all three tomo of the sharingan so that's step one. Most people don't get that into their late teens. Okay, he got it early, apparently. Then step two, after you leveled up the, the base Sharingan all the way, all three Tomo, 
like I said, which most people don't do until they late teens. If you're a shotgun user, maybe early 20s. And then, I mean, get go, you got to see your best friend die to again have another huge ass emotional response to get that. So he has to go through that. Then he has to find out the ability, use the ability, because he, he knows that he can only do it once every 10 years. So that means he used the ability and said, oh man, I can't do this for another 10 years. But when he died, he was a teenager. So you mean to tell me he got his man Gekyo like at six or something? Because how old was he when he died? For him to know that it, he can only do it once every 10 years, that means he used it 10 years past. And then he was like, oh, I can use it again. It must be every 10 years I can use it. I thought he was only like. Itachi was like 13 when he was in the Ambu. Um, and he was with in the Ambu the same time as Shishui. So Shishui, I think, was a year older than him. So he was 14. Yeah, because then Itachi, when he was 13, he killed. He killed the spoilers. He did what he did to that. That one clan, we're going to say that if you don't know. Well, you should know. You're watching this video. But in case you don't, he did what he did to that one village, you know, to that one clan when he was 13 and then left. So Shishui, like a year older than him, so he's like 14. You mean to tell me he got his man Gekko when he was four? Man, normal babies can't even fully talk when they four. How he go through all that pain and trouble? That's crazy. All right, I went off on a tangent, but I had to I had to think that through. I had to think that through, my boy. Every 10 years since he does have two Sharingan. But that still really sucks. Now, it may not be strictly true, depending on how we interpret a few things, but do bear in mind that none of what I'm about to say is set in stone. We are now entering the theory zone. So at the Five Kage Summit, when Ao catches Donzo manipulating Mifune, he says a few things about Shisui and briefly explains how Koto Amatsukami works. The thing about this is, like, how would Ao know any right. of this? He does straight up say that he and Shisui fought before. And, like, sure, but how does he know enough about Koto Amatsukami, a jutsu whose strength primarily lies in the fact that nobody knows it's even being used in the first place, right. to explain it to a room full of people if Shisui can only cast it once every 10 years? Now, I'm not saying this is a plot hole or anything. Don't worry, just, just give me a second. Remember how at the beginning of the video, I mentioned Shisui was kind of a special case because he's like the only Uchiha who has the same Mangekyo power in both eyes. Well, mm -hmm. it is actually very possible that he's another Obito situation where both Jutsu have the same name, but function in ways that are slightly different. There actually do seem to be a few key differences between the one Shisui gave to Itachi and the one Donzo stole, and one of these is actually pretty noticeable. When Donzo used it to control Mifune, obviously he was able to do it without establishing eye contact, but Itachi's crow, meanwhile, clearly clearly looked Itachi in the eye when casting it. Something else worth pointing out is that Mifune seemed to snap out of Donzo's control completely as soon as everybody pointed out to him that he was being manipulated. Itachi, meanwhile, knew the entire time that he was being controlled, explained to Naruto exactly how the Genjutsu worked, and still never snapped out of it. The final mm -hmm. difference is that despite Itachi's claims that the Jutsu can only be used once every 10 years, Donzo claims he can use it multiple times in a single day. And this is partially explained by the fact that Donzo's body has been fortified by Hashirama's DNA and chakra, but it could also be explained by functional differences between both eyes. Now, whether you agree with this interpretation or not should affect how strong you think Shisui is, but it probably isn't true, or I at least think that it's safe to proceed under the assumption that it probably isn't true, since there's nothing in the series that indicates this aside from the bits and pieces. It's not a, it's not a bad idea. I mentioned already. Now, let's move out of the theory zone and return to talking strictly about things we know for sure. Regardless of the presence of any functional 
differences between Shisui's eyes, there is something I feel pretty confident saying. Contrary to what I believe is a fairly popular opinion, this jutsu probably isn't the win button that many people seem to think it is. Now, I do get it, because based on what we know, you could make a fairly strong argument in favor of this being all Shisui needs to do to win a fight, but it yeah. doesn't appear to be something that Shisui can do instantly. I say this because he didn't use it to stop Danzo from taking one of his Sharingan, and we know he had at least one charge left at this point because he was planning on using Koto Amatsukami to stop the Uchiha coup altogether. I guess you could maybe argue that he really wanted to save the Jutsu for Fugaku, but Shisui's smart enough to know that Danzo reaching for one of his eyes means he's probably about to lose it, so the only explanation that leaves us with is that he didn't have enough time to cast it. So this should mean that against really, really fast characters like Minato, he shouldn't be able to cast the Jutsu and just win the fight for free, mm -hmm. even if you give it's him a big the big assumption out and assume that he could. That's a big assumption that, that is purely on um, he ain't had the time to cast it. It could have been something else. It could have be some. It could be something else. Like it could be. Um, let's see. What's another scenario? Mm, it could be that he didn't want to because he didn't think that he was gonna take the eye. It could be that he really was trying to save that jutsu for for the village. It could be that he thought he could deflect it in another way, deflect the attack in another way. So he wasn't going to waste his powerful jutsu. Especially if his hand is reaching out and it's not like a life threatening thing. Maybe he thought he could do something with a kunai or something and, and deflect it. I don't know. It's just other things that could happen could have used Koto Omatsukami at any time, but was just really hesitant to, that doesn't change anything for fights where we assume Shisui is in character. Against somebody like, again, Minato, he'd just end up waiting too long to use it, and would probably end up dying by the time he realized he needed to. Speaking yeah, of Minato, his encounter with Danzo, you gotta, by the way, there are actually- If you ever fight Minato, man, you gotta do everything you're doing on the, instantly. <laughs> if you're trying to shoot that nigga, shoot him first. If you're trying to do a Genjutsu, off the rip, you gotta pull it, cause he's he's too quick. Actually, a lot of different versions of this scene. In one of them, he even uses the Susano, but I will go ahead and say right now that this is not canon. canon. While it's perfectly reasonable to assume that Shisui can use the Susano because he has two Mangekyo Sharingan, mm -hmm. since we've never actually seen him do it in any canon yeah. material, saying he can would be purely speculative. The Susano version of this scene is, if I had to rank them, probably the least authentic since it's from a game. There are two other interpretations, one from anime filler and one from a light novel, and this is the version we'll be using since it's the canon one. This is actually pretty good for Shisui since the light novel is the version where he comes out looking the best. The anime version specifically is... Damn, he got folded Not very kind to him. In the light hey. novel though, she... He was getting folded in in the anime version. Yeah, yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> You can't fold it in. Not very kind to him. In the light novel, though, Shisui doesn't lose to Danzo in a fair fight. He doesn't get his eyes stolen because Danzo is faster or stronger than him, but instead because Danzo ordered a member of the Aburame clan to use its insects to afflict Shisui with a paralysis poison. Now, the reason this is good for Shisui isn't because it's necessarily impressive or anything, but instead because it means his loss to Danzo isn't indicative of his physical abilities. Shisui definitely gets a bad rap for being the guy who lost to Danzo, and what makes it even worse is that Danzo didn't have his Izanagi arm at the time they fought, so he would have mm -hmm. been a lot easier to kill at this point than he was when he fought Sasuke. I'm sure I'm even guilty of pooping on Shisui for this in the past, and it's not really fair because, like I said, in the canon version of this fight, Shisui was totally paralyzed. He really couldn't do anything. Uh, but the problem with this is that now we don't really have any point of reference for how strong he is. We right. know he was stronger than Itachi, which a lot of people like to point out. It, it does sound pretty 
pretty impressive until you consider that Itachi was 12 years old when she sort of oh, died. 12, okay. I thought it was 13. Wrong. 12 year old Itachi was like, he was no joke. But a lot of people seem to think that Shisui would be able to box with like full power, fully grown up adult Itachi. And that's just not true. Now, what is a little more impressive is that he and Itachi are said to be the strongest two members of the entire Uchiha clan. And I don't know if this is supposed to be in terms of like upward potential or just raw ability. I think the second one makes more sense based on the context in which this was said. But regardless, it's a little bit I hard think it's to both. extract any. I think it's ability and potential because, like I said, they took out the village and uh, they definitely had the most, everybody respected them in the, in the clan. So I think it was both potential and raw ability from this because we don't know how strong the rest of the Uchiha clan was either. Before I go any further, I'd like to clarify that this was also said in reference to the members of the Uchiha clan who are currently alive in Konoha. So Madara, Obito, Izuna, these sorts of people were not taken into account when this was said. So while we can't really look at any feats from the people that Itachi and Shisui were being compared to, something that's pretty interesting is that Fugaku, Sasuke and Itachi's father, was considered for the position of Okage. Of course, he wasn't actually appointed, but that very fact upset a lot of people, specifically members of the Uchiha clan. These people thought Fugaku was perfectly capable and was the right pick for the job, and mm -hmm. saw the decision not to appoint him as a result of the clan's rocky relationship with the village's administration. Now, this narrative that he was cheated out of the position of Hokage may or may not be true, but let's also consider that Minato and Orochimaru were being considered for the position as well. For so many people to be so confident that Fugaku was more deserving of the seat of Hokage than either of them, you'd think Fugaku would have to be pretty strong. So if right. the statement about Shisui and Itachi is to be taken seriously, and they're both even more powerful than this, that would make Shisui Kage level at the bare minimum. This is somewhat supported yeah. by Obito's assessment of Itachi's strength when he joined the Akatsuki. Even at just 12 years old, Itachi was considered a rival to Obito by Obito himself, the same guy who fought Minato and tamed the Ninetales. The only other thing we really know about Shisui is that he was supposed to be pretty fast, and that he seems to have been more well known for this than for the power of Koto Amatsukami. After all, his nickname was Shisui the Teleporter, or Shisui of the Body Flicker, depending on your source, not yeah. Shisui of the Hypnotic Eye, or whatever. There aren't a whole lot of Naruto characters with speed-based nicknames like this, so if we're being generous to him, it might even indicate that he was one of the fastest shinobi in the world, but realistically speaking, this doesn't tell us nearly as much as yeah, the only people with speed names is like Minato, Shishui, Minato the Yellow Flash, Shishui the Teleporter, and then um, A and B from, what village is they from? The Stone? No, Cloud. Right? Village in the Clouds, I think. They got like a little lightning on, a, on their headband, I believe. It is Village in the Clouds, right? I think it's Clouds. Let me know in the comments. I think it's Cloud. Village in the Clouds. But yeah, them like the only four people who got a speed, like anything related to speed. So he definitely was probably one of the fastest in the Naruto first the other statements I went over. Anyway, that should cover everything important, but if I missed anything, feel free to let me know, and as always, thanks for watching. Till next time, talk to you later, and Merry Christmas. Swaikage out. Alright, that was the How Strong is Shishui video by Swaikage. Um, it was interesting. The so Shishui is not as strong as I thought. Again, but he was he's really compared to like he said, 12 year old Itachi. And he was supposedly stronger than 12 year old Itachi. 12 year old Itachi is very powerful. Um, not top tier in the in the Naruto verse, but he was top tier at least in the village at that time. So I mean, he was at least we know for a fact they were they were both Anbu, trained to be Anbu. So they were Jonin level off rip. So, but after, the thing about Naruto is after Jonin level, there's not two other many levels to classify you as. There's Jonin, then there's Anbu, which is like special assassin Jonin. So that's, I guess you could say that's a step above Jonin. And then there's um, Kage level. Kage level is the leader of your village. And then there's, after that, that's it, really. 
because everyone around Kage level, the only thing after that is it's not really a rank, but there's like legendary groups, legendary groups of people who would be considered around like Kage level, like the seven swords, man. Uh, individually, individually, they're supposed to be like high Jonin level, but together as a group, they're supposed to be like Kage level or something. Or like the three signing, the three signing are supposed to be, they're definitely above Jonin level, definitely above Ambu level, but are they above Kage level? Uh, that's to be determined. So, you know, the only like pure ranks is Joni. Maybe you could say Ambu, maybe, and then Kage level. But even Ambu isn't really so much a step above. And more, Ambu more reflects on like how ruthless they is really. Because they're like a, they're all ninja, but this is like a special Black Ops ninja. Like, they trying to assassinate some shit off the rip. But yeah, that was a good video though. If you like it, uh, leave a like. If you dislike it, put a dislike on the video. I'll still see it. I know YouTube removed it, but I'll still see it. So if you want to dislike it, go ahead, I guess. But if you want to like it, do that too. And subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get the 500 subs. All right, y'all. Other than that, I'm about.